I am holding baby boy and I'm using my amazing breast pump that this company sent me and I'm really grateful for it because I'm able to pump and hold my baby and do chores around the house without being tied to a wall with all these wires. So yeah, I'm really grateful this company reached out to me and sent this to me for baby boy to feed him all the time now and I'm loving it and it's super affordable. I'll put the link down in the description for you guys. I believe it's under $70 and the cool thing about it is there's different settings and it tells you how long you've been pumping for on there on the little screen. So convenient. I use this all around the house. I do laundry. I did um, dishes and stuff around without having to be tied down. So it's really cool. Check it out, guys. And here's baby boy. He just woke up. And I'm going to feed him now in a second. He's so cute and little. Look at him. He's so cute. I put these little lights to cheer up the room. We put some over there as well. I got those at Walmart. They were super cheap just to cheer up the room. Look how cute he is. He's like, Mama, I want more milk. I want more milk. But yeah, guys, check out this um, pump. It's really, really um, convenient. You could just stuff it in your bra. <laughs> you don't need a special bra for it. You just put it in there and forget it and pump away. Look how cute. Little Christian. He's like, Mommy, I want attention. Another thing I wanted to mention about the pump is that it holds its charge. So you, it comes with like a wall plug and you just charge it and it holds the charge for hours at a time. There's days where I don't charge it at all that I forget and it still works whenever I need it every two to three hours. So it's really cool. Um, again, it, it was really inexpensive. I know they're like pumps out there that are like about $500. This one's only $70 or less than $70. I believe it's $67. So check it out. I'm obsessed with it. Very affordable, portable. You can throw it in your diaper bag and pump as you drive. So check it out. Again, the link will be in the description down below. Hey guys, so right now I'm heating up some meal prep. I had made some ground turkey. I put it in my little Tupperware and I made brown rice for the week. Right now I'm just heating it up. So I've been measuring out my brown rice with a little scooper. Sometimes I'll do like half a cup of brown rice. Sometimes when I'm really hungry, I'll do one full scoop of, uh, one cup of brown rice. So today I did like almost half a cup of brown rice with a little corn. And then now I'm gonna just put some of my ground turkey on there. And then I like to put a little bit of cheese on top of my little rice bowl. But yeah, I've been meal prepping guys and I feel like that makes things a lot easier once you have a baby and it's good for weight loss and eating healthier. So that's what I've been doing. Later I wanna do keto, but right now I wanna just eat clean and have my milk like my milk come in fully. So that's what I've been doing. I've just been eating cleaner and then I'm gonna drink a little bit of sugar-free um, cranberry juice because it's good for you. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna eat today. Show you a little day in the life the of what I've been doing. Show the baby, I already showed him. There's daddy holding Hi. him so I can heat up my food or else I don't eat. Yeah, it's been a struggle to find time to eat. This morning, for example, I ate like breakfast around almost 11 a.m. And normally I eat it like around eight. But that's mommy life. So this is a great idea for those of you who are, you know, with baby meal prep. And that way you can just heat it up and eat quickly and chow down quickly before baby cries. So I'm going to eat real quick and I will show you what else I do throughout the day. Another thing I wanted to mention, guys, is this hydro flask that I received from the company. And I'm really grateful for it because when you're pumping and you are a mom, you need to hydrate a lot, especially if you're pregnant, but also when you're breastfeeding. So I'm super grateful that they sent me this beautiful lilac color hydro flask. I got this in the mail and my husband almost fought me for it. It was so funny, but we are loving this He, I let him use it too. I love it because I put ice in this, just a few ice 
pieces in there and fill it up with water and I have cold water throughout the night while I'm breastfeeding and there's still ice in there from the night before. I love this so much. It has a handle on top so I can grab it. Easy to um, drink out of and I like that the spout in the top is big enough where any kind of ice fits in there. I hate when you can't put your ice in there. I love the fact that it doesn't sweat because my other water bottle just doesn't stay cold. It's like a cheap water bottle from Walmart. But this literally stays cold all day. And I'm sure if I put something hot in it, it will stay hot as well. But yeah, they have different colors and different sizes. This is the 32 ounce. I'm loving this. I will definitely put a link down below for this for you guys to check out. I feel like this would be such a great gift for anyone especially for the holidays. So check this out. If you're into the gym or you're a mommy, I just absolutely love this. And again, this is 32 ounce. I feel like the 32 ounce is perfect. It's not too big or too small. They do have smaller sizes, so check it out. And yeah, I just love it so much. It's so awesome. Ugh. Yeah. That's so cute, Dada. I stick my tongue out. <laughs> You're so cute, buddy. You're so cute, buddy. You're so cute. Mwah. Oh, burping. I got a burpee. Oh, he burped in my eye. <laughs> it smells, too. <laughs> That's a milk burp. Mm -hmm. Did you milk burp on Dada? Did you milk burp on Dada? Oh, oh. All right, guys, so I wanted to show a little gift that Taylor's aunt got our baby boy. I just literally got it in the mail. The UPS guy just dropped it off. I thought it was my breast pump because I ordered a breast pump through my insurance, but um, we're still waiting on that. But look how cute this is. This is from Aunt Lynn, and she got the baby boy this little cute shirt. Look at the baby. Yeah, we're so grateful. So thank you, Aunt Lynn, if you're watching. Um, but we got him yeah. this cute little, or she got him this cute little, it's nice and thick, it's yeah, really cute. That. Yeah, and then this little soft onesie zip up, which I love zip ups. For That's new moms, get zip ups. Only and, zip ups. Yeah, <laughs> and this is like super soft on the inside, it's like Sherpa, I don't know what you call it, but that cozy material, I love the colors, like blue is my favorite color. And then that look, blanket. this blanket is yeah. so beautiful. How stinking cute. It's like super soft. Super soft. And it looks like it's big. <laughs> Aww. Thank you, Auntie Lynn. He's I so love you. Look. Thank you, Auntie. Yeah. I think those are his first words. Thank you, Auntie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. But yeah, we love the blanket. Super soft. And it actually goes with his little outfit. So I might have to do like a little photo shoot laying him on this blanket with this on because this is super cute. I love this. So thank you, Altlin, if you're watching. Yeah, we love it. You. Yeah, so sweet. And the box is so beautiful. No, Daddy yeah. fed him today, so he's like thank you, Dad, Dad. super happy. I feed him every day. Yeah. I feed him all the time. <laughs> yeah. I, do. I know you do. Yeah. I'm just agreeing. <laughs> wow, somebody's a little defensive. Cute. Big game smile. He said, "Thank you for the milk, Dad." Yeah. I bathed them today and I combed his little hair to the side, but it's sticking up again. Any boogies? No, he's good. He's such a good baby. He's We're so grateful. Like last night, he let me have three hours of non-interrupted sleep. I mean. Not for Maybe daddy, because daddy doesn't really change him right before, after he feeds him and does all the nines like mommy does. Mommy does it every time. Every time he wakes up from his sleep, Ugh. I will change him, clean him under the sink, mm -hmm. put a fresh diaper, cream, make sure he's fully fed and cozy, and then he will sleep long stretches. There's no shortcuts with babies. Yeah, he's a little, he's a little smile. Yeah, his little hand. Yeah. Look how little. She thinks, Jaja. He looks big on camera, but he's so tiny in person. He's getting bigger though, compared to how he was. Yeah. He's getting a little heavier. Oh yeah. So yeah, we love our little gift. And this is our new dining table. I don't know if I've shown it in a vlog before, but this was a gift from my parents. We didn't have a dining table. We sold it in North Carolina to move to Texas. So my parents gifted us this beautiful brand new table, which we love. Um, it has six seats. I love that because we can have extra people over. So yeah, that's our new table. 
and I opened up our windows because it is so breezy and chilly today and I love it so yeah I love the cool weather because mommy's been having some hot flashes this postpartum mm. ain't no joke okay mm. He's cold. Matthew, I'm gonna go take another one. I can put a little hat on him. It's okay, pot pot. I have little mitts too. No, I want his hands to be free. Look how cute. I'm adorable. Hey, bud. Did we have some good milk today, huh? Is there some good milkies? Yeah, milky, milky. <laughs> <laughs> And there's Leo trying to make our lives awesome. And this baby then, sleeps through all the dogs barking though. Oh yeah, we've trained him. He's a champ. I vacuum with him and everything. He doesn't cry unless he really needs something, which I'm super grateful for. Um, so yeah. Slowly I've been getting stuff done around the house. Excuse my parents, I look crazy. I'm on survival mode still. But yeah, we've... I've been getting the hang of mommy life and slowly, you know, been doing a lot better. I'm healing. Um, yeah, I got the house tidied up. Babe helped me vacuum and yeah, I like having the house clean and organized. That way my mind is like organized and not overwhelmed. So I did, we did laundry and all that good stuff and getting stuff done. But slowly and surely we're going to have a schedule. I mean, I feel like I kind of have a schedule already for the baby. Um, you know, like I'll put him down to sleep like around nine and then he'll wake up like around seven. So, and he wakes up every two to three hours to feed or to be changed. But he's such a good baby. Um, he doesn't cry at all. Like throughout the day, like doesn't cry unless he's like hungry and I forget to feed him, which I don't. I put an alarm on my phone, but if he's sleeping good, I'm not going to wake him because he's already put on so much weight like he's gonna let us know if he needs food so my parents are on their way here now to hang out for a little bit and they'll leave um they're just gonna stop by and say hi and see the baby because my mom hasn't been able to see the babies for like a good week she had like some kind of poison reaction on her face she was working on her lawn without gloves can you believe that crazy cubans and um it really affected her face like it got super swollen and red so yeah um i didn't want her holding the baby because i didn't want that to get on the baby so i yeah she's doing better she was on medication and she's doing better and yeah and we're just adjusting to being parents i feel like i'm getting the hang of it i feel like i'm already like 95 percent healed um, I'm struggling with like hemorrhoids right now TMI, but this is reality. This is like I Want to be honest about everything on my channel not be like oh life is perfect and no I've been dealing with hemorrhoids. I had a second degree tear But I've been healing. I'm sleeping a lot better now baby sleeping a lot better longer stretches But yeah, I feel like I'm 95% healed um, I'm getting a lot more energy now like I think baby's three weeks now How old is our baby three weeks? He'll be, a month on Tuesday. He'll be a month old on Tuesday, which is the 23rd uh, yes. Yeah, November 23rd our baby will be a month. Oh, and then for Thanksgiving I have to make a turkey and take it to my sister-in-law's so I need to get on that. I need to go get a turkey for Thanksgiving because she invited me and my parents, um, baby and Taylor, to her house to celebrate Thanksgiving this year, which is our first Thanksgiving as a family, which I'm really excited about. But yeah, I gotta make a turkey, which I'm only gonna buy like a little chicken, or not chicken, just the breast of the turkey and do that. And I might do my corn casserole because my corn casserole is amazing. I love it. My dad and my mom love it. So I might just take our corn casserole and the turkey breast. And then my sister-in-law, I guess she's going to do everything else. But yeah, let me know what you guys are doing for Thanksgiving in the comments down below. What are you guys planning on doing? And what are you thankful for? If you want to leave it in the comments. I'm thankful for my new little family. And for God blessing us with 
our beautiful baby boy and his health but yeah we're very grateful and blessed so i just wanted to update you guys on what we're doing and how life is with a newborn slowly healing slowly getting the hang of it it's a lot easier now the first week was the roughest week of my life i would say because i was healing and then taylor my husband got sick so he was secluded on the other side of the house and I was doing pretty much everything on my own, making sure he was fed, I was fed and healing, baby was good, it was just a lot. But now it's like I'm getting, you know, everything's becoming normal now, so which is nice, but anyways, I'm rambling now. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you are thankful for and what you're doing for Thanksgiving and yeah. Today we are in Christian's room. It's early morning. Mommy's here enjoying her coffee as she pumps. And yeah, we haven't really been much in this room. He's been in my room in the bassinet. But I'm going to start coming in here in the mornings with him and pump and just have like a little morning routine with him in here to let him play. And then I can actually enjoy my coffee and get some pumping going. But look how cute he has already changed him. I put little socks in there for his little feet and then his little mitts. Because it's kind of not chilly, but it's cool today. It's pretty cool. It's been kind of chilly here in Texas. So, yeah, we're really happy. We're having a good morning. And, yeah, baby boy is just enjoying his little chair. He has a little hiccup right now. Um, but, yeah, and I'm going to do some tummy time with him after coffee. But yeah, this is what I am doing. Just hanging out with him and pumping, having coffee. In the beginning of the world, Genesis 1 through 2. Once there was nothing at all in the world. There was no people or animals or houses. There is just darkness. God wanted to make a beautiful world. He lit up the sky with the sun and moon and stars. God filled the world with trees and grass and rivers and seas. He made birds to fly in the blue sky. He made fish to swim in the deep sea. God looked at the world he had created and it was good. God created everything. He made you too. Thank you, God, for creating the world I live in. Oh, that was today's Bible verse for you, Christian. Yeah, God created the world for you to live in. We're grateful for that, aren't we, huh? We're so grateful to the Lord, God Almighty. Yeah, Jesus loves us so much. He gave mommy you as a gift of life. Mommy's so grateful for you. May my dream come true. My prayers answered. Mm. Look at him. I love him so much. Oh my goodness. Are you smiling from mama's? Hmm? Look at him. <laughs> He's milk drunk. I love him so much. Um, Taylor just called us. He's on his break. Today's my first day alone with him. Taylor went back for back to work. Um he was on maternity leave, maternity leave to help me here on the house for three weeks. Daddy was here for three weeks with us and he helped me recover a lot. But the first week when I got home from the hospital, Taylor um, got a cold. So he was in the guest room the whole time and I was healing pretty much alone in the room with baby with stitches and constipation. It was awful. But then the second week got better. But yeah, the first week getting home with baby boy was really, really rough. Because mommy pretty much was trying to heal and take care of him all on her own without daddy. So that was rough. But we we survived. And yeah, daddy was able to spend time with us. And he went back to work today. Today's my first day alone with him. Which I started crying earlier when I first woke up. I was I was sobbing. Not because I'm scared, but because I'm like really happy to be his mom and I'm just like so grateful love him so much and I can't believe like he's mine and I get to wake up with him and he's my son like I've been I prayed for him and he's here and I'm just so grateful and 
I'm not afraid to be home alone with him. I'm excited to be a mom, like, and my husband works, like, it's cool. Um, but it's cool, like, to be here at home in his little nursery with him. So many times I sat here in this chair daydreaming about him being pregnant. Like, I was had my baby bump and I would just rock myself and, like, think, how would he look like? And now I know this is him. Look at him. He's perfect. He's gained so much weight, I feel. Because he was a little underweight after coming home from the hospital. But now he's doing so much better. He's put on weight. He's eating really well. And he sleeps so well. And he's just such a good baby. Like, he doesn't cry for no reason. And I'm so grateful for that. Like, he only cries when he is hungry or needs something. Like, but he doesn't cry for no reason. Which I'm so grateful for. Taylor was a good baby too, according to his mom. But anyways, oh, look at him. I need to feed the dogs now and I need to feed myself. Um, I need to get myself together. I need to like change and yeah. But yeah, baby comes first and then mommy comes last, which I'm okay with. My whole life is now dedicated to him. And I just love him so much. He's worth every like lack of sleep or any pain that I've had. He's just everything I've ever wanted. I'm not going to cry. Okay, bye.